The Merlux Soft Pro is the top underwater snoot on the market today. It is equipped with an ecosystem of accessories for both wide angle and macro photographers, so check it out. This is Nirpom from the Underwater Photography Guide and Blue Water Photo. Now I'm excited to announce what I think is the future of underwater macro photography. This is the Merlux Soft Pro. Now Soft stands for Smart Optical Flash Tube, uh, but it's basically a glorified snoot. Uh, and for those of you new macro photographers, a snoot is a device that can shape light to your will so that you can get dramatic black backgrounds and contrast in your underwater images as well as better color and detail. So it goes beyond just being a snoot though. The Merlux Soft is an ecosystem. There's a bunch of new accessories that are announced and I really think all of this together will change the playing field for underwater macro photographers. Now I feel like I just said that a few months ago and that's because Merlux is a pretty fledgling company. Their speed of innovation is just outstanding. So uh, this replaces their original soft uh, completely. The original soft is now discontinued. And here we go, this is the real Merlux soft. It's the Merlux Soft Pro. Now the Soft Pro retails for $4.99, which I think is an excellent price, especially in this market. Uh, it can be used on any strobe. You don't need a dedicated flash or anything like that to use with it. Um, now the mounts, are sold separately as well as the battery. So it needs an 18350 battery and that doesn't come with the soft. So I know I explained what a snoot is, but it's really better if I show you what it does and what this whole ecosystem can do. So right here, I've got some accessories. I've got my housing system and my strobe. I have my soft and I wanna show you how this whole thing works. And then we can talk a little bit more about specifications, my experience with it. And I'm actually gonna be going on a trip to Raja Ampat and this video is gonna be announced after that trip. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about the photos I captured there in one of the best places to dive in the world on an underwater photography workshop that I'm leading. So, um, all right, let's take a look. This right here is my strobe. Uh, this strobe has a Merlux soft dock on it. So this is the mount for the soft and any additional accessories that you might use. Now, the way you attach the soft is pretty easy. The dock attaches via these screws, and then to attach the soft, it's actually a really simple, uh, you line up the dots on the soft and the mount, and it just snaps on like that. It's super easy to take off as well. There's a uh, quick release button, so you just push the button, you rotate it, and it comes right off. So putting it on is much easier than any other snoots that I've used on the market, and that's pretty awesome. Um, now you've got it attached to your strobe, and underwater, notice that this soft actually has a buoyancy collar on it made out of neoprene. That helps a lot. It really keeps everything streamlined. I didn't really feel like it was too heavy to use underwater, so that's pretty cool right there. Uh, so I've turned on my strobe. I'm gonna put on a low power so I don't blow the bulb out. And um, let me go ahead and turn on the camera. There we go. Um, so what this does is it takes the light from my strobe, it puts it through a diffuser in a series of glass optical elements and it condenses the light. So in order to get a nice, bright, high lux light, you don't actually need to um, increase the power all the way up because these optical lenses condense that light. So that's pretty awesome. And when I was shooting it underwater, I didn't really feel like, you know, I needed to bump the strobes all the way up to full power and therefore I'm saving battery life uh, and I'm getting more shots out of my system. So you hold down the on button to turn it on. And what's really amazing about the soft is it has an aiming light that goes right through the same port where the light from your strobe goes through. So you know exactly what that light is going to look like. Now, what's awesome about the Soft Pro that wasn't available in the Soft, uh, it has a brighter aiming light and it has a control on the aiming light where you can increase the power and decrease the power. Uh, so in, if you don't wanna scare away your fish or anything like that, then you don't have to. What's also nice about having the aiming light is when you take your photo, it turns off for a brief second and it won't get in your image, uh, which means that your image will be just your strobe power and you don't have to worry about the exposure effect of the aiming light. Now, if you're dealing with a subject that's super skittish, uh, all you have to do is go ahead and click this again. And now you've got a red light and that subject is not going to be 
uh, seeing that red light. Most animals underwater aren't able to see red, some do, uh, but if that animal doesn't see red, then it's not gonna know that your aiming light is there and it's not gonna be scared away by the soft. So then when you take the photo, the white light from your strobe will actually go through and the red turns off so that you don't get any red light in your image. Um, and that's a really amazing feature again that the soft has is it just automatically detects when your strobe is firing and turns off when it needs to. Again, this is adjustable, fully adjustable in terms of your brightness. And as I said before, this aiming light is more powerful than the one on the original soft. So you will be able to see it better underwater, which was one of the concerns that I had when I was shooting with it. I was able to see it in most conditions, but if it was a bright tropical situation, I was worried I wouldn't be able to see it. In this case, it is a brighter aiming light um, and it is easier to see. So let's go ahead and switch that back to white and crank up that power so you can see it's pretty decent. Now, my personal favorite feature of the soft is the uh, rotating aperture or iris. And what this does is it allows you to control the width of the beam. So if you're dealing with a really small subject, you might not want a beam that's really big because it'll overpower the subject and you won't get this nice ring of light over the subject. Uh, it'll just look like it's shot with a normal stroke. So you can do an easy rotation of the iris and you can get a beam that's as small as three, uh, three millimeters and as big as 50 millimeters for the radius. And that's at the focal length of the beam. Now, this beam underwater converges at about 150 millimeters away from the uh, flash tube. So that's about where you want to be when you're shooting with the soft. If you need to extend that, the soft actually has an accessory, which is an extension lens, and it just screws right into the front of the soft. And now you've got, you can see the beam is now a bit wider. Um, so it goes a little bit farther, that focal point extends further out and you can get subjects that are a little bit farther away, a little bit harder to shoot. Now finally, if you wanna mount your soft or strobe in any way, the soft comes with a ball mount. Uh, so you can mount that uh, externally if you wanna do a remote trigger for your strobe or mount it somewhere else on your camera, that's just a little bit easier to handle. Um, so having that extra ball mounting space is kinda nice. I just mounted my strobe from the strobe ball. So that's pretty much how the soft works. It's a lot simpler as you can see in use than it looks uh, when you're looking at it. This right here is the battery compartment. So this is that 18350 battery that's not included. Uh, you'll wanna put it in there and I recommend getting a rechargeable one. Um, but with that, I'm gonna go ahead and take the soft off and show you more of this ecosystem and more of what you can do with this whole mounting system right here. So one of my favorite accessories that we offer is this dome diffuser right here and it actually retails only for $30. Uh, so I definitely think it's worth getting because once you take that soft off, you can actually um, put it in your pocket. It fit in my dry suit pocket just fine underwater. It might be a little bit big for other pockets, but if you're able to store that somewhere, you can actually change in your dive from a snoot photo to a more wide angle photo. And there you go. So the dome diffuser just snaps in like that and it increases the width of your um, of your beam so that you can shoot with one strobe in a wide area. It makes the image a little bit softer. You don't have as much contrast in your photos. It does add a little bit of backscatter, but it makes that backscatter smaller. Um, so that's what any dome diffuser will do. I think it fits really nicely on this uh, CNC Wise D2J. Um, so it's really nice size for uh, a CNC strobe. Um, and it's a bit cheaper than actually the domes that CNC sells as well. We offer a flat diffuser and color filters for a kit. Um, that retails at $60. So to use them, all you have to do is snap on this little ring here. And now you can actually go ahead and put a soft diffuser on there. And if you wanna use a color filter, all you have to do is slide that out. And now I can slide a color filter in here, Let's say this blue filter. And now you can take photos with any shade of color that you want for creative backlighting, or what I think is really cool is if you use the blue filter, you can use that to photograph fluorescence, and uh, now you don't need to get a gel or anything like that to put on your strobe. All you need is this color filter right here, and you can do fluorescent photography. So that's a really, really versatile app option. And I just remembered, I didn't show you guys what it's like to uh, use the dome diffuser. But let's go ahead and take a look at that beam. There are my images with the dome diffuser. 
Finally, I'd like to talk about two last specifications. The Soft Pro is depth rated to 100 meters, that's 300 feet, and it is 210 grams underwater. Now, it's a little bit heavier at around 750 grams above water, uh, but underwater with that buoyancy collar, it's pretty light, and certainly lighter than the original Soft so at this point in the video, we are going to do a time jump. I'm gonna get back from my workshop in Raja Ampat. We're gonna switch over to the computer. I'm gonna show you some of the uh, photos that I've gotten with the Merlex Soft Pro, uh, both in Washington and in Indonesia. And I'll talk about my experiences with the Soft. So let's get to it. All right, I'm back from my trip. So let's jump into some of these photos taken with the Merlex Soft Pro. Uh, now, we're starting here with a photo that's actually not taken with the Soft Pro, but with the accessory. Uh, this is the wide-angle dome diffuser, so you can see how nice and even the lighting is on this fish that I captured in Washington. Uh, on this next shot, I used a blue filter. Obviously, this is not something you would really want to do for a normal photo, but I just wanted to show you how strong that fil those filters can be. And actually, a blue filter is great for photographing fluorescence, so that's something that can be used uh, if you are into that kind of photography. Um, now this is another filter, a purple filter, and I use this for backlighting. So I actually put my strobe behind the subject and I was able to get a little bit of purple in the back and I got some white light in the front with a video light and I was able to do this creative lighting with the Soft Pro accessory. Now this here shows a photo with the actual Soft, with the Snoot feature, and you can see that nice black background, the nice contrast on the fish. Uh, and the rest of these photos are all going to be taken with the soft actually attached to the stroke. Um, so these are a few uh, fish eggs that I captured in Washington as well. And you can see the different styles of lighting that you can do. So even though that soft is supposed to help you with black backgrounds, uh, it can also just be used to create high contrast lighting, nice lighting, and you don't really have to um, necessarily have a black background or any negative space behind your subject. Um, now this is an example of the black background, but still having that high contrast lighting. Again, the same subject, these fish eggs in Washington. All right, so now we're moving on to some of the photos that I captured in Raja Ampat during my recent workshop. Uh, I wanted to start with this photo because I thought it was really unique in the sense that I used the soft to put a high concentration of light outside of my subject. So this subject was actually inside of a tunicate and I got enough light, enough power, enough lux going through the tunicate where I was able to light up uh, that ladybug amphipod in the center. And then this is just a crop of that photo showing the end result. And this is really what I um, love about the soft, the kind of creative high contrast lighting you can do with it. Uh, this is another example of how you can really create contrast in your shot. So I didn't necessarily want to get a black background, but I wanted the tentacles of this anemone to really look like it's engulfing uh, this anemone fish right here. And I thought that came out really nicely. Um, this photo is of a slightly larger subject, so this is a scorpion fish that's a bit bigger, and it goes to show you that you can shoot larger subjects with the soft. I do recommend the extender lens attachment. In this case, I didn't use it, so this is kind of showing the extent of how big you can get with your subject. I would say this subject was about um, maybe the size of a small bowl. Uh, here's a really small subject of the soft. So this is a Shaun the Sheep nudibranch, and it's just you know one of those classic shots, and I'm really happy I was able to get that. Uh, this here I wanted to show uh, was a really small, tiny, tiny, tiny file fish. And with the aiming light, it actually helped me get that file fish, even though it was swimming through the water column really fast. Otherwise, I would not have been able to get this shot. Uh, this here is another classic nudibranch photo. Um, I just think the soft really kind of brought out the light nicely. Uh, I positioned the nudibranch kind of at the front of the beam, and you can see the back of the beam is actually lighting up some of the spaces behind the nudibranch, but I think it gives it some depth because you can really see the substrate and the subject itself. Uh, this one I really like because it shows how you can use high contrast lighting, use this um, you know, really strong light to create a glowing effect in some translucent subjects like this wire coral. And this shrimp on here is actually wild wire coral shrimp, uh, which are found on these small wire corals. Now, it's really difficult to get photos of these guys because you actually have to have a 90, well, in this case, I had a 90 millimeter macro lens and a stack diopter on top of that. But being able to dial down the width of the beam on the soft or keep it open because you have a wider area and a better chance of getting your subject really helps. Uh, so this just kind of shows that, you know, the beam quality from the soft is really nice. The color rendition is really nice from the beam. Um, and I was pretty happy about that with the shot. 
Another example of, I actually wanted to kind of create that uh, spotlight effect that some snoots can do. So the soft, like I said, you can adjust the side of the beam. I adjusted the beam so I had a hard edge. So it kind of gave it a spotlight look with this fish over here. Uh, and this is another example of how I used this really powerful concentrated light to burst through a subject. So this shrimp was actually inside of a sponge and I was able to put some uh, soft light from the side and really just punch out the, the shrimp uh, from the sponge without actually directly putting light into the sponge. Um, another classic snoot shot, I just wanted to kind of show what happens when you put negative space behind your subject, meaning, you know, just empty water. This was taken um, during the day and you can kind of create that black background any time of the day. Uh, here we have a, um, a mantis shrimp and I like to use the spotlight effect again on this mantis shrimp. I have another one in this series as well. Uh, and then this is a great shot just kind of showing, you know, how you can create that contrast in the soft. I like that I position the soft kind of from the side. So you have the right side of the image is a little bit better lit than the left side. And I think that really creates that contrast and depth in the photo as well. And again, this subject was very, very small. I needed to use a stack diopter on top of my macro lens to really get it. Uh, another example of how you can kind of create that contrast. Um, you know, this is another, uh, this is a wire coral goby on wire, wire coral. And here's my other mantis shrimp shot. So I thought the colors came out fantastic on this photo. Uh, now this shrimp is a little bit bigger than the other one that I showed before. So it was a little bit difficult to get the light directly on the subject. Um, the beam was a little bit small for this subject. It was a big shrimp. Uh, but I think because of that, it actually made it a little bit more dramatic since parts of the shrimp are lit and parts are not. And those are my photos. Let's jump back to the video. All right, we're back in the past with the soft. I hope you liked my images from Indonesia. I haven't seen them yet. Um, as well as some of my images from Washington. It's been some rough diving conditions here in Washington. Uh, so I was pretty impressed with what I was able to do with the soft. My review, actually, all those images just came from one dive. I couldn't believe the diversity that I was getting from the purples with the um, sculpins and the dark black backgrounds with some of the eggs. And uh, it was just a really versatile uh, tool to use on a single dive. So anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions, as always, drop them in the comments below. We're happy to answer them. Or reach out to us at sales at bluewaterphotostore.com if you need help choosing the right soft dock or the right accessories uh, or putting together a package. We actually sell all this stuff as a package online. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you liked our photos. And with that, we hope to see you guys out there diving with the soft and taking some awesome macro photography.